Go ahead, uh, opening comments, okay. and then we'll take questions. Perfect. Well, first Thank of all, we want to say thanks to uh, these guys, the Liberty Bowl, Memphis. You know, it's all, it's all been a welcoming environment for us. Um, we're excited to, uh, to get a play against the triple option. I know that it's a different thing, different for our players. It's a little bit different scheme than we're used to seeing. So uh, it's been a joy to, to work through those things. And, uh, you know, the town's been great. The Peabody's been great to us. It's a, it's a good environment, so we're excited to be here. And uh, with that, I'll take anything anybody has. You know, his quickness. He's got great lateral uh, ability to move. Um, his decision making is very good, you know, for an option team to uh, to do with the things they do and not put the ball on the ground very often. You know, we're hoping to see the ball on the ground a lot. You know, if it was raining like this, it would be okay thing for us, you know, on defense. But, uh, yeah, uh, he's, he's a guy that runs that offense very smoothly. You know, he, he's, a, he's a good athlete. And, and, and really just his ability to make people miss, you know, and, and it's such a game that, that gets you so many one-on-one -on -one tackles, you know, because you got a guy running the pitch, you got a guy that tackled the dive that doesn't have the ball, and then he's got it. Now, if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, he's got the ability to break some. Will this be the biggest test for you guys defensively? Just given the nature of this offense? Yeah, just a different scheme. I mean, it, it's, I think, whenever you play option, it's a whole different deal. You know, it's a deal that, uh, uh, you, you know, if, first of all, I mean, like when they, the guys first started watching, they, you know, the guys have never been around anything like this before. So, so it was interesting to start. Uh, we glad we had the bowl prep time because we could baby step it in and work it in. But it was a, uh, it was a deal that a lot of these guys had never seen before. So, you know, for them to do it, it, it'll be a good challenge to us, you know, to see how good our discipline is at this time of the year. You know, hopefully we've we've come a little ways and 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 we can defend it a little bit. I know that uh, they're going to score some points, and I know Mess was up here yesterday, right, saying he's going to hold the ball for 40 minutes for us and then score a whole bunch of points. So it's okay. I hope that's what he said. I don't know if that's what he said, but. Yeah, you know, we, we started at, at, at phase one, you know, hey, this is exactly what it is. This is a triple. This is how they're going to block, how we're going to line up. Uh, we moved a receiver to quarterback so that, you know, that's ran the option before so we could get a look from there because I think that's a, that's a different style of, of thing that we've seen. And, 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 and really, thank God we had the bowl prep because, you know, it takes, shoot, it takes, you know, a good week for your scout team to start to even look like it. I know, I know that we're never going to match the speed that Navy's going to play with. Um, and, and that's the hardest thing to simulate is those guys come off the ball, they come off the ball low, they run. Um, and to be able to see that tempo, the first time we'll really be able to see it is on, oh, I almost said Saturday, uh, Tuesday. Um, but, uh, you know, to work through that, we had to, you know, start off with that walk through. Here's where you're going to fit. Okay, stop. Here's the next block that happens or the next part of the triple option. Okay, then we're going to take this. Okay, now here's the next block and how we read it. And we just kind of stepped through it all the way so the scouts knew who they were getting. And the defense knew what they were supposed to do, and then we just continued from there. You know, we had a, we had a wide receiver. His name was Ryan Hennington. So, what the your past experience coaching against him? You know, you're at Wyoming. Can you take anything away from that? You know, th there's similarities. You know, there is some similarities. Uh, Air Force and and Navy are a little bit different. You know, in kind of the styles that they do. Um, but the same basic triple stuff is in there, you know, so you could use some of that. I know that, you know, when, uh, when I was at Southern Cal, we played Georgia Tech, you know, there's more similarities probably with Georgia Tech than, than uh, Air Force, you know, with this team. Um, you know, it, it seems like, you know, I was kind of making fun of that, you know, it's like one of those things that, you know, we played Monk a few times back in the day, who's at Army now, and it's, uh, you know, it's kind of one of those deals that like seems to follow me around. I don't, I don't ever really enjoy it to tell you the truth. You know, I think it's a, it's a, it's a hard thing to get ready for, and it's a hard thing to prepare your kids for the amount of cuts, for the amount of, you know, how fast, all those things, you know. But at least we've been through it before, so we kind of know how to, how to step it into the program. What are your thoughts on you know, passing game and passing? Well, you know, if they, if they pass, you know, I, I know that I know this. It's, it's, it's a hard deal because you're in a lot of one-on-one -on matchups. You, you know, and you hope that you can win those one-on-one -on -one matchups because that's the way they force you to play because you got to put a guy on their quarterback. But, you know, we also have to be worried about him running around as soon as uh, he does drop back. So it's a, it's a difficult kind of triple thing. You know, they, they, they got all the different wheels. They got all the different things out of it that you got to match up and hope your eyes are right. And then after that all happens and you do your job, hopefully, and then you got the threat of their best guy running the ball and just taking off. So, uh, you know, I mean... You know, they, they, they called a bunch of passes on well, eight last week, you know, or when they played Army. But 
he didn't pull the trigger on any of them. So I mean, that, that's a big part of it too. I mean, I mean, the guy's a good runner. He can he can make plays. You know, uh, really seeing seeing these guys, you know, take take us in under their wings, really is, is is really special. You know, guys like Trey or Wyatt or you know our captains, our seniors, those guys really embracing us. I know it's new. They uh, they've been around here a lot longer than we have. They had a culture. They have uh, a tradition. They have all those things, and accepting us sometimes that's hard for people who've had success. You know, and it's been really cool to have them embrace us and take us in and make us part of their family, you know, and, and, and the things that we've changed, you know, them saying, okay, that's, you know, allowing us to do those things and, and going through it. I think, I think that's been a, the coolest part of it all is just being able to hang out with guys and, 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 you know, let them be men, let them be themselves. And, and they've embraced us more than anything. I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't, I don't usually look at anything till afterwards. I, 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 you know what I'm really excited about? I can say this. All year long, no matter what game you looked at, you know, win or lose or whatever we did, those guys gave great effort, you know, and that's the number one thing that we started off with. They won when we got here, something that they had in the past. But they, they, the guys on that defense play hard, you know what I mean? We might always not be right. We might always not do the right thing. We might not play with the greatest discipline all the time, which is all going to be tested on Tuesday. But them, them guys play hard, and sometimes it eliminates a lot of mistakes just with how hard they play. great test that's right it's a great test you know we were just talking about that I we, we, were, we were discussing all the different bowl options we could have been in and who we wanted to play and, that, and that's one thing our safety coach Joe Kleinerman said was like this is the best team for us to play because it's like the ultimate of listen everyone has to do their job everyone has to have great eye discipline everybody has to be able to make and tackle their one-on-one -on -one matchup so it's like the culmination of everything that we've been working on um, I didn't see it that way. I was like, well, geez, you know, I'd, I'd rather be in the things that we do and work on those things as much as we can and get better at that. But it's a, it's a deal that uh, you're right, it, it is. It's something that, you know, it, it'll be a challenge. It'll be a great test for us to see how far we've come. Um, I know this, if we would have started the same journey uh, week two and had three days to prepare it, I don't know that we would have been ready for it. You know, it's a different, it's a different deal. How's the defense health-wise, you know, just being off for a month right now? Um, we're OK, you know. Um, you know, AJ still nicked out. You know, we've had some guys with surgeries. You know, that, that's the hard part is getting back from those surgeries. And, and, and there's some guys who are nicked up right now still. Um, but the but the guys, like the guys in the back, they're all healthy. You know, we're pretty we're pretty solid at, pretty solid at linebacker. You know, uh, our DBs are a little bit nicked up still, which is something that it's going to be that way. You know, um, we got a few guys that are going to have surgeries after the season. So it's just, you know, I mean, they got to make it through one more game. You know, we're done. We're done practicing. So that's. That's the good news. We didn't lose anybody today, right? Who were some of the younger players who stood out that are cool to You know, do, doing, the, doing the developmental stuff, you know, that we've had a chance to do, I mean, I mean, we can start off with, like, at the linebacker position. Um, you know, if you look at Austin, Austin Moore, um, he's a guy that, you know, I, I really didn't have a chance to work with him in fall camp because he didn't even come to fall camp. And he's a guy that, that comes in and we make fun of him just – Hey, he's like a machine. He just does everything right. You know what I mean? Um, a, a guy like Tyrone Lewis is, is a guy that really needed that time, you know, to be able to hit it in, OK, fall camp and kind of learn it and go through and get some playing time and kind of figure it out. Well, now to have a chance to install it again, I mean, he really accelerated. You know, it was good for those kind of guys that you would say, hey, they just had a chance to learn our defense a second time, y you know, and, and, that, and that'll make them have another step where, like T. Lou looks like he's a different cat than when he than at any time in the whole season. You know, it's one of those things that you wish you didn't have. Uh, you wish you wouldn't have played him in four games so you could play this week because it'd be a you know he he, he maturity wise he came along and that's going to help him for spring ball, which now it's going to be the third time he learns it, and then you get fall camp and it's the fourth time he learns it, and then you get okay now we're into fall and let, let, let's see where it goes from there. You know. You know, Denzel, uh, 
you know, he's a great dude. The, the thing about Denzel that I, that I see about him that you like about him so much is he's, he's at a different place in his life. You, you know, you always have those guys on the team, um, whether they're fathers, whether they're married, whether, you know, you got one or two of those guys on every team that you coach, and he's kind of like that guy for us. You know, he's a guy that, you know, he's just in a different place. So when his perspective comes in, he sees it through a, a, an adult size. You know, I'm, I'm married. I've, I've lived through some things in my life. I'm in a different place than a lot of you guys who just want to go chase women around the streets of Memphis. You know what I mean? He, he's at a different spot. And so to have a guy like that on your team, it's awesome because, um, because when we say something, you know, he has the wisdom and, and a different – see it through a different set of eyes where he can also talk to these guys in a different ways, and, and it reinforces the things you say. You know, to have that guy on your team is priceless, you know, that he's like a conduit between us almost because he's, he sees it in a different light, and, and, and that's what's been the best about him, you know. Plus, you know, he's fun to talk trash to. We, we do that all, quite a bit too, so – Yeah. Yeah, you know, we it, it, it's more, it's really some of the perimeter guys too, you know. I mean, those guys are going to arc block and go get the corners and the and the safeties and stuff like that. We uh we kind of we kind of phased it in. You know, we all did it. Oh, excuse me. Um we all did it in individual quite a bit. And then as we started doing the cuts, we um we kind of cut someone's toes, you know what I mean? Not really throw a cut to start. So the, the idea of playing off it. And then it kind of was like, okay, now it builds to like an up-down when you get close to them. Okay, now we're going to start to cut. And then and then we just picked and choose our practices. You know, when we had a chance to go full pads, we, we said, let's go cut our guys. You know, we got we got to see some live stuff. And, and, and really it's good because we cut on offense too. You know, and for those uh, scout team guys to go out there and cut us, it's going to help them for the future too because we're going to cut on the perimeter and do all those kind of things. And, you know, like – Joe Irvin, he, he, he was probably the best dude out there cutting the guys around a little bit because he'd been through it before, you know what I mean? And, and, that, and that really helped us, you know, getting the, getting the edge guys cut down. I, I don't know. I think that Wyatt back there is probably tired of seeing cut blocks right now, aren't you? Yeah, he is. You know, see a down block and a cut and all those things. I think that stuff's hard, but you got to work on it. And, uh, you know, thankfully we made it through, you know, unscathed by doing it, you know, unfit. I don't know, whatever word I'm talking about. You guys can fix that if you quote me on it, right? So... <laughs> Unfazed, I guess. Is that the correct word? Yeah. My wife will be upset at me if I say it wrong. All right. With so much time to pre prepare, did you make big alterations to the defense to just make sure things were right track? Well, you know, you you, uh, you come up with some ideas and you find out that a lot of them don't work anyway, so you just go back to what you know. You know, it's kind of kind of what you know. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's hard because you would say that in, in a week you would probably have one call, you know, where you try to get two different looks in and if you can get them run and get them down well enough, then you might be able to do it. But, uh, you know, it's nothing – to play this to play this kind of offense, we can't do what we do every week, you know, and that's the hard part, you know, for, for future growing. It's not like we're going to play cover two and we're going to, you know, we're going to play cover three and play some man, stuff like that. you got, you, you got to build a different style of offense or a different style of defense. So it's, it's kind of like make up a defense deal to stop it because if you do your normal stuff, they're going to get – you know, six yards of carry, and then you're never going to see a third down. Are you typically going to two linebackers at the back side? Do you stick with that, or do you put your third linebacker out there and then you change up what you put in? Yeah, you know, we, 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 we're sticking with our personnel, you know, that we've had. Um, you know, our safety plays in the box a lot anyway, so so we'll get both those guys involved quite a bit and let Denzel be in the back end and run and run the alleys and stuff like that. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes, you know. We're in. You know, that's what we do. We play two safeties and, and let them run. And, and J-Mac's really a linebacker anyway, you know, and we'll let him do linebacker stuff. That's what he's kind of done most of the year, you know. I got a stat for you. So far in the Big, big 12 bowl game, the Big 12 defense has held out an average of 496 total yards. What do you think is the state of the Big 12 in terms of defense right now? <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't speak for them. You know, that's not uh, – you know, I'm sure they played some good offenses too. I don't, I don't know. That's a, that's a question for those guys. You know, those those defense coordinators and stuff like that. I'm just hoping that we can. Let's hope we're under that number. You know, or, or our offense is way over that number, one or the other. You know, um, I don't know if we can. Uh, we're just worried about seeing our key man and running. That that that's tough. That's tough. That's a tough number when I hear that. Really catches your eye as a coach. 
I mean, for me, we, we, like we started out a long time ago. You know, we, we started talking about, listen, we, we want these guys to play as hard as they can. They did that before we got here, and hopefully we've improved on that. We, we want them to understand what they're doing and play as fast as they can, and hopefully through the bowl prep they've done that. And I think that if you looked at where we were um, against Nickel State to where we were against uh, Iowa State and you said, hey, we were in the same call, we got more, we got better at running that defense. You know, we got better at understanding what our keys were. And, you know, those are the things we look at. We're, we're at a better position now going into spring ball running, doing what we do than, than we've been. I think, I think that those are two important things to us. Um, I think that these guys truly love one another, you know, and, and I think that that's a big part of it where they go and they, they go out there and they don't care who makes the play. They understand that they're all part of it and, hey, and, and it allows a trust between them all, you know, where, hey, if, I, if my job is to rush the passer and I got a chance to hit the quarterback and he threw the ball and we got a pick because of that, that that's how the unit works together. And I think that those are the things that, that, that we're proud of. You know, I, I'm sure there's some stats that we've gotten better at and things like that, um, but we'll look at those at the end of the season and we'll use, we use those as a measurement to say, okay, um, let's look at those and say, hey, we were good at these things. Okay, now why? We were bad at these things. Now why? What's the truth behind those? You know, and 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 I know that, uh, you know, you can look at it any any number of ways, but but the real core foundation of what we do is that. You know, get the guy. Let's get him playing as hard as we can. I think we've gotten better at that. Let Let's get him playing as fast as we can. I think we've gotten better at that. You know, let, let's let's tackle well, like we talked about. We I think we've gotten better at that. And then and then. Can they play and trust one another? You know, and I think those are our three goals all the time. And as you get farther and farther in the system, that becomes better and better and more apparent. And then, and then they hold themselves to that level, and, and, and you get better. And really, all the numbers handle themselves. Because when you get better at those things, you know, you get better at doing the fundamentals. You get better at doing, knowing what my job is. I understand what my keys are. I understand what cheats I can use. Then the stats start to figure out and be, be really good in your favor without even looking at them.